I was minus four and a half. Totals 152. I went four and one yesterday in my premium sports picks on my website. I'm also four and one in my last five dollar ninety nine daily best plays on that site as well. We currently have over one thousand two hundred and fifty members signed up and active on that page. We also currently have over twenty seven thousand and seven hundred subscribers right here on YouTube. Thank you guys so much. You are literally the lifeblood behind Brock Page Productions. You are Brock Page Productions. Now, guys, the Hawkeyes have failed to cover the point spread in five out of their last six ball games, just two and four straight up during that span. The Hawkeyes have dropped four of seven away from their home court, and they covered the number in just 29% of those road games. The Hawkeyes give up nearly 78 points a game when they travel. Now, they're taking on a Spartans team who's on a two-game winning streak themselves. And they also successfully covered the number against Iowa back on February 2nd. Spartans are a solid 8-2 and two straight up on their home court this season. And they're holding their opponents to just 66 points a game at the Breslin Center. Aaron Henry scoring 14 points a game for Sparty. Five rebounds, three assists for the 6'6 six, six junior. Henry's also recorded 24 steals and 24 total blocks defensively for Michigan State. Meanwhile, 6'9 forward Joey Hauser's scoring nearly 11 a night himself, along with six rebounds. The Spartans are holding their opponents to just 39% shooting from the field at home, just 29% from beyond the arc in that same category. Now, total-wise, Michigan State's last two straight stayed under the number, 6-1 and one to the under in their last seven. Meanwhile, the Hawkeyes' last two straight stayed under the line themselves, 4-2 and two to the under, in their last six, I'm going to lean toward the underdog Michigan State Spartans plus four and a half and the under 152. And before we go ahead and move on here, guys, if you're new here this week uh, or if you're new here today and you're just stumbling across this video, I just want to take another quick time out and welcome you to the channel here today. Got some lines and personal leans out for Saturday's college basketball action. Happy Saturday to you. Hopefully you got your weekend off to a great start last night. Hopefully you're not too hungover today, but if you are, you got to power through. You got to power through it, get some electrolytes, some fluids, and uh, get the job done. Uh, but anyway, guys, my name is Brock Page. I do sports picks for free right here on YouTube. Before we go ahead and move on here, I just want to quickly remind you once again that I went 4-1 and one in my five premium sports picks on my website yesterday. I'm also 4-1 in my last $5.99 daily best plays on that site as well. I currently have over 1,250 members who are signed up and active on that page. And once again, we currently have over 27,700 subscribers right here on uh, YouTube. It's incredible. Uh, still can't believe it that this uh, little channel that I film in my living room has uh, just blown up so much. Once again, thank you guys so much for your support. Uh, I'm eternally grateful. And with that, guys, we're going to dive into some more free content right here on YouTube. I'm talking about Duke NC State 4 p.m. Eastern tip-off at the PNC Arena. The Duke Blue Devils are minus three and a half away from home. Numbers 149 flat. Now, Duke's currently on a three-game losing streak, two and six straight up in their last eight. The Blue Devils have failed to cover the point spread in 80% of their last 10 ball games, and they find themselves with a record of just 1-4 straight up when they travel. Duke's allowing their opponents to make 49% of their field goals when they travel. They're also letting them make 42% of their three-pointers away from home as well. They're taking on an NC State team who's covered the number in three out of their last four contests themselves. And they also find themselves victorious in six out of their last nine home games. Now, Jericho Helms is scoring over 13 a game along with five rebounds and 82% shooting from the stripe. The 6'7 junior has also recorded 19 total steals defensively. Meanwhile, 6'10 forward DJ Funderburk is scoring a dozen points a game himself along with five boards and 86% shooting from the foul line as well. The Wolfpack scoring 75 points a game on their home court. And they're making nearly 40% of their three-pointers there. Now, total-wise, two out of NC State's last three stayed under the number. Six and three to the under at the PNC Arena. Meanwhile, Duke saw three out of their last five road games 
stay under the line themselves. I'm going to lean toward the underdog NC State Wolfpack plus three and a half and the under 149. All right, next matchup in the Big East. I'm talking about Villanova versus Creighton, 5 p.m. Eastern start time. Villanova's minus two and a half totals 144 flat. Nova's won nine out of their last 10 ball games, seven to two straight up away from their home court this season. The Wildcats are in the top 20 in the nation in offensive three point percentage. They're also in the top 15 in free throw percentage as well, collectively as a team. Jeremiah Robinson Earl is scoring 16 points a game along with seven rebounds and a couple assists. Meanwhile, senior guard Colin Gillespie is scoring over 14 points a night himself, along with a couple of boards and five assists. Gillespie's also drilling 90% of his foul shots. Nova's scoring over 79 points per contest, and they're making nearly 40% of their three-pointers. Now, real quick, just came to mind here, guys. As we're going through these stats here, if you see something or hear something that doesn't either sound right or you're kind of inquisitive towards it, feel free to look it up, research, and uh, verify. I always say this, trust but verify. So please feel free to do that as well. Now they're taking on a Creighton squad who failed to cover the point spread in three out of their last four, just two and six against the number in their last eight. The Blue Jays are allowing 70 points a game on their home court. Meanwhile, three out of Creighton's last five losses on the season, uh, actually three out of their five losses on the season, came at home. Now, total-wise, Creighton's gone 7-4 and four to the over as the home team. Nova 7-2 and two to the over in their last nine. Give me the Villanova Wildcats minus 2.5 and, and the over 144. Next contest, ACC. North Carolina versus Virginia, 6 p.m. Eastern tip-off in Charlottesville. The Virginia Cavaliers are minus six with the total at 128.5. And, and if you like the UNC Tar Heels in a big conference upset on the road here, they're plus 220 for some money line cash. Now, the Heels are just three and five straight up as the official road team, just two and six against the number in those eight road contests. UNC, <laughs> UNC excuse me, is making just 32% of their three pointers this season. And they find themselves allowing nearly 72 points per contest when they travel. They're taking on a Virginia squad who's in the top five in the nation in defensive rebounding, and they give up just 59 points a game. Now, the Cavaliers are 6-3 and three against the spread in their last nine ball games, and they also find themselves a perfect 8-0 straight up at the John Paul Jones Arena. Sam Hauser scoring 14 a game along with seven rebounds and 84% shooting from the stripe. Meanwhile, 7'1", Ford Jay Huff is scoring 13 points a game himself, along with 6 rebounds and 40 total blocks on this season. And although many folks don't really think about offense when it comes to this Virginia squad, the Cavaliers are making 40% of their three-pointers, and they find themselves in the top 20 in the nation in offensive field goal percentage. Now, total-wise, Virginia's gone 60% to the over in their last 10 outings, 6-2 and two to the over on their home court this year. Meanwhile, UNC saw five out of their last seven get over the line themselves. I'm going to lean toward the Virginia Cavaliers minus six in the over 128 and a half. And with that, guys, we're going to dive into our next and final matchup for the video. Uh, video. It is going to be USC versus Washington State. And that's going to be an 8 p.m. Eastern start time. USC Trojans are minus eight, numbers 134 and a half. The Trojans have uh, really beat up on Wazoo in recent meetings. 9-1 straight up versus the Cougars in their last 10. 7-3 against the number in those contests. USC is currently on a five-game winning streak, and they successfully covered the point spread in their last four straight as well. Evan Mobley scoring 16 points a game along with eight rebounds and a couple assists. The seven-foot freshman also has 16 steals defensively. And 56 big blocks on the season. Meanwhile, senior guard Taj Edie is getting over a dozen a game himself, along with two rebounds and a couple assists. USC's in the top 10 in the country in defensive field goal percentage. They're also in the top 15 in defensive rebounding on the road. They're giving up just 62 points a night when they travel. Now, the Trojans are taking on a Washington State team who's lost seven out of their last 10 ball games. And they also cover just 42% of their home games. The Cougs are scoring just 69 points per contest as the home team. 
and they're making only 40% of their field goals in that same category. Now, total-wise, Wazoo's last three straight did all get over the number, ironically. Meanwhile, USC saw five out of their last eight get over that number themselves, uh, over the number themselves, excuse me. Give me the USC Trojans minus eight and the over 134 and a half. With that, guys, we're going to dive into our quick pick recap where all of the picks I made for this video are given right here in this segment in about 30 seconds or so for your convenience. Give me the Michigan State Spartans plus four and a half under 152. NC State plus three and a half under 149. Villanova minus two and a half over 144. Virginia Cavaliers minus six over 128 and a hook. And before I give you my next and final matchup for the show, one final reminder that we went 4-1 and one in our five premium sports picks on my website yesterday. We're also 4-1 and one in our last $5.99 daily best plays on that page as well. I'm going to lean toward the USC Trojans minus 8 and the over 134 and a half. And with that, guys, we're going to dive. Oh, one more reminder. Uh, these picks are for entertainment only. Nothing is guaranteed. These are not guaranteed uh, winners. But uh, anyway, now we got to dive into my favorite part of the show, shout outs. Shout out to G. Wright, George Sylvia, Carl Douglas, Olmec underscore, Young Kobe, Bryant Dela Cruz, Damian Weaver, Goodnight Munchie, Matt McPeak, and last but certainly not least, got to give a shout out to my man, Sinister Santos, who said, do you smell what the Brock is cooking? I like that. I, I read that. I started laughing. That was a good one. But uh, anyway, guys, if you want to hear, uh, you know, a shout out, uh, basically what I do is uh, I take my uh, top 10 favorite YouTube commenters over the past couple of days or so, and I give them a shout out. So there you have it. But anyway, guys, that's going to do it for me. Got to thank you for joining me right here on YouTube. Really hope you enjoyed all this great free content, all this great free information. It is very free. <laughs> <laughs> very, very, very free. Uh, once again, hope you enjoy all this great free content, all this great free information. And with that said, happy Saturday to you. Best of luck to you. Have a good one now. <laughs> <laughs>